Okay, so what you have today that you're going to be learning about is um, polygon angles, okay? Now, you might want to take notes on this because I guarantee you will be on the quiz. I know Mr. Fox is allowing you to use your notes. So there are two types of, of angles, okay, polygon angles. You have interior and exterior angles, okay? And we're going to explore them both real quick. Just a reminder of what polygons are. All right, here we go. Get a new document here, geometry page. Oh, thank you. Okay, a polygon, which you can create in a geometry page as I'm doing here, right? Go into the menu, once you're on a geometry page, shapes, and get to your polygon tool. Polygons have all straight edges or sides that meet at vertices and they're closed objects like this. This is a polygon right here. So now, <clears throat> polygons have two types of angles, we say, interior and exterior angles. I'm going to show you what the interior angles are. We're going to measure those real quick. You want to watch me measure the angle. This is called an interior angle right there, right? And how many interior angles would this polygon have? One, two, three, four, five. So the same number of angles as there are, as there are sides. Okay, I can adjust these sides. It's still, this one is a pentagon, it still has five angles, five sides. Turn that off, please. And then the question becomes, how many degrees are there inside these interior angles? So we want to understand how many degrees are in the interior of a polygon, okay? So to do that, there's a way to think about it. We don't really know that, but one thing we know is we know that triangles have 180 degrees. So that's what we're going to do here is we're going to make some segments to connect. These are called the diagonals of a polygon from one point to a non-adjacent point. Oh, okay. Let me undo that. Did not mean to move that. So here what I have is I have three triangles. One, two, three triangles that are right here. And it turns out that every polygon can be divided into triangles, right? So how many degrees does this triangle have? Well, a total of 180. And how many for this triangle? 180. And this triangle, 180. So that tells me that there are that if it has five sides, I can form three triangles. And if I form three triangles, what I'm gonna end up with is three times 180 degrees, right? Now, if I make another one, let me make, uh, let's see, let me make another object here, another polygon. This one I'll make with six sides. So that would make it a hexagon. So there I have a hexagon. So then the question becomes, how many triangles would exist inside of that? So I just pick one point and I can start drawing triangles like this. Oops, got the wrong tool here. Menu, points and lines, I want my segment tool. So now that I have six sides, I have four triangles, and each of those triangles measures 180 degrees. Okay, one more, we'll do a seven-sided polygon. 
shape, polygon, ones, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I think that's eight. Then I count, I counted wrong, so I got an octagon. Well, that's okay. We can use an octagon. That'll work too. So eight sides. How many triangles do you think I'm going to have? Yeah, I have six. And if you notice, there's a pattern here, which is there are always two less triangles than there are sides, right? I can make a triangle with all of these opposite sides, but I can't make a triangle with the adjacent sides. So that's why these two cannot form triangles. So eight, the number of sides, eight minus the two next to whatever vertex I pick, tells me how many triangles and each triangle has 180 degrees. Okay, so here we go for our notes, okay? What we're gonna say is that <clears throat> you take the number of sides and subtract two. And that will equal the number of triangles. And you take the number of triangles and multiply by 180, and that will equal the number of degrees. I will say the sum or the total degrees in the interior angles of a polygon. A formula that you could use would look something like this. We take the number of sides n, subtract 2, and multiply by 180, and that will equal the sum of the interior angles of a polygon. So if you have a 10-sided object, then 10 minus 2 is 8. And then 8 times 180 would tell you exactly how many degrees that it would add up to in the interior angles. Okay? All right. Now we're going to check out the exterior angles real quick. Let me get a, I'm going to just get a new document going here. And I'll make it be a geometry page again. Let's me get to these tools a little quicker. I want to make a polygon. All right. So I'm going to just start with a triangle here. Really simple. Now I'm going to show you what the exterior angles look like so that you can see them because they are kind of interesting. Okay. What we do is we take a ray and we go through and we extend it and that makes one exterior angle. If I, if I extend each side in one direction, okay, then I'd end up with three exterior angles. Let's see if I can measure. Oh, sorry. Let's see if I can measure those angles. I think I can. Let's go like this. Okay, there's one. Two. Three, three. Now, it's hard to notice anything about these, but here's what I'm going to show you that's kind of interesting. Watch this. I'm going to calculate what would A plus B plus C be, meaning if this was angle A and this was angle B and this was angle C, what would happen if I add them all up? So here we go. Watch, I'm going to use my calculator here, this calculate tool says, what do I want to use for A? This one for A, this one for B, and this one for 3C. What does it add up to? 360 degrees. Okay. What if I change these? Does it change the number? <coughs> the answer is no. For any triangle, 
the sum of the exterior angles is always going to be 360 degrees, no matter what. So that's kind of a nice, easy number to remember. Let's try a quadrilateral. What if I had four sides? There we go. Again, a shape, a polygon with four sides. Then we're going to make our exterior angles. Remember, I get the ray tool and I just go from one point and I just extend each side like this. So this one has four exterior angles. Let's just extend those a little bit so we can see them a little better. And now let's measure those, okay? So we're going to measure the angle. And now we ask ourselves the question, how much do you think these would add up to? If I added A plus B plus C plus D, how much do you think if I added all those together that it would add up to? Anybody want to take a guess? Let's try adding them up. Ready? A plus B plus C plus D. Holy cow. What does that add up to? Well... It's 360 degrees again. It's kind of, I think I must have one slightly off because it is not coming to exactly, it's rounding kind of funny here. It's, so one of them must be off just a teeny bit, but the answer is 360 degrees what it rounds to. So let me see if I can. No, I'm not going to do that. Okay. So the triangle, the exterior angles added up to 360. The quadrilateral, they all added up to 360. Let's do a pentagon. Here we go, one more time. Shapes, polygon. Here we go, we got uh, five sides now. Again, we make the rays for them. Okay, extend those sides a little bit. Just enough so I can measure for sure. And let's get the angles measured. Try to do a better job this time. So I have five exterior angles and we're gonna add them up. So this is gonna be A plus B plus C plus D plus E, five angles. And let's add those up. We're going to calculate A plus B plus C plus D plus E. Oh, it doesn't want to give me exactly the right number that I'm looking for. See if I can select that text. Control C. Let me go into here and find out what that's worth. Oh, that did not, not look good. I don't want to do that. Uh, menu, actions. Let me clear that out. Menu, actions. Sorry about that, guys. This number right here. Not measuring, not looking very good, but it is 360 degrees. Let me see if I can, I think I can change my settings here on the screen this way. Let me try this. No. 
stock. Mm, I don't remember. The answer is 360 degrees. Why it's why it's rounding the way it is, I don't know, but it doesn't really matter. The answer is 360 degrees. And so a really simple note here on exterior angles would look like this. The sum of the exterior angles of any polygon equals 360 degrees. Okay? For any polygon. So that's a really, really nice, easy quiz question. Because you'll see that on a quiz, it'll say, a decagon, you know, how, what is the sum of the exterior angles of a decagon? And this is a math fact. You just recall it. You don't actually have to compute it. You just say, oh, yeah, it's 360. Well, what about a heptagon? I don't even know what that is, maybe. Okay, 360. A nonagon, a dodecagon, doesn't matter, 360. Okay, so for any of those objects, it's just going to be 360 degrees. Okay, pretty good. Good morning. Good morning. All right. And so what we're going to do now is go ahead. You want to take over now? There you go. Get them going on that. These problems, there's a little algebra in there, but basically it's just understanding these concepts of interior and exterior. Um, they have to add, everything has to add the, the number of degrees after they calculate how many degrees it should have. And add it up and set it equal to that, then you do a little bit of algebra. Okay? If it is a regular pentagon, oh, let me put this in here too. One more little note. If it is, one more thing, guys, right over here, watch. Let me give you one more little note to use that you're going to want to know. Okay? Let me show you what a regular. Let me show you what a regular polygon looks like because it's a bit different, okay? With that polygon tool, you might have noticed when I was in here in the calculator and I grabbed the shapes tool that there's actually this polygon and then there's a regular polygon. Okay, they're different objects. So I want you to take a look at, ready? Ready? I want you to take a look. The difference between a polygon and a regular polygon, you guys look here. Let me make just a triangle. I always think that word regular is kind of funny because they're actually not very regular. They just seem, I guess they're regular. That's one way to think about it. But I think about them as kind of special. What do you notice about a triangle? If it's a regular triangle, what does it look like? When we classify a triangle, what would we call that one? Probably. Well, is it, does it look scalene? It looks equilateral. Good job. It looks equilateral and equiangular, and it turns out it is. All the sides are equal. How about here? That's a four side. That's a quadrilateral, right? All the sides look equal, and it is. That one's a, we call a square, right? Here's a regular pentagon right here, a regular pentagon, a regular hexagon. So when we say a polygon is a regular polygon, what it means is every angle is equal to each other. Every side is equal in, in their measure, right? When we measure them. So here I have a problem right here where I might say, hey, I have a regular hexagon. That means there's six sides to it. And it might say, what is the measure of the angle, interior angle of a regular hexagon? Your little, your little math that we went through say, okay, well, there's six sides minus two means I can make four triangles. Each triangle is 180 degrees, so that's 720 degrees in here. Total, 720 degrees divided by six gives me 120 degrees in each angle. So that's that's how you're going to need to work on that. Okay? And Miss Jepson's going to take over, and I'm going to be right next door. Okay. Thanks, guys.